Hello my little butterflies, in this video I'm doing a review on the Wealthy Chic's Love Triangle by Natalia Banks. So you guys, this is the book that I was telling you guys that an author actually contacted me to do a review for on my channel for you guys. And this is actually going to be a novella in a new series called Sold Altered to the Billionaire. I think it's the name of the first book in the series. This is also an adult, an adult contemporary, adult romance kind of book, but it is guys i really did love this novella like it was really good i gave it a four out of five stars i really did like it um natalia is an indie author and she's a new author this book was good and i took one star because there was just one thing that i did not like that i don't like in a lot of books but this book is basically about this guy named terrence who is an architect and his assistant brooke they're from new york and they're traveling to dubai to meet the sheik his name is al that is not his whole name don't ask me to say his full name, but in the book he asked them to call him L. And they're meeting with him in Dubai because they are supposed to be designing a building for him. And so he's trying to see if he wants to like, you know, go with go with the contract with them. It's like a business trip, okay? And basically, you know, Brooke has this thing for Taryn. She's been working for him for two years and she's been trying to get him to make his move on her. And he keeps, you know, shutting her down. And then Al gets thrown into the bunch, which is the Sheik. And, you know, he sees a beautiful woman. And, you know, she basically tells him that they're not, that her and Terrence are not romantically involved. And so you can see where this is going. It's going to turn into a wonderful love triangle, actually. I really liked how the triangle played out. Except for one thing, which I'm going to talk about. And it was a really interesting story, you guys. Like, it, it didn't make, you didn't lose interest in the book like in the middle of the book at all like it kept your attention throughout the whole book you know how sometimes in books you go in and out of being interested in it but my interest was kept and my attention was kept throughout the whole book you guys like i really did enjoy this novella and i cannot wait to you know start reading the series because i really did enjoy this and i want to you know read more and i also got a sneak peek and I think like the first three chapters of the first book in the series guys I need to I can't wait to read this like I cannot wait for that to come out so I can you know read that and I don't have any release dates for you guys but when I do get them I'll put them in the description box and I will also you know do a video to you know give you guys some information on the release dates of the books because I want to read them and I really want you guys to read them too because they are really good. So let me start with the pros that I liked about this book. Like I said, I really, really did love how from the beginning your attention is grabbed. Like I loved all the action from the beginning. Like it didn't take a few chapters for you to get wrapped up in the story. Your attention was taken like directly from the beginning, from chapter one, you guys. I love that about books. I love books that gets me into the story immediately and I don't have to wait. I don't have to build it up. Bam, I'm just there. I love that. Like, guys, in the book, like, when Terrence was shut Brooke down because she was really trying to, she was trying really, really hard, right, to get him to make a move on her without, you know, being, trying to be too forward, you know, she was trying to, like, play it off and play it cool. She was really trying to get him to make a move on her, you guys, but when he shut her down, I felt embarrassed and hurt for her like i was just so embarrassed i was covering my eyes like i was looking at somebody or something because i felt bad for her i was like oh damn you know he was like really quick at, sh at shutting her down and she was really trying hard but he just put that brick wall up quick it was like not uh -uh, not happening you know because he's really into that thing that you know we work together that can't happen but you guys when he did that i felt bad for her and with that being said you get really emotionally tied in with them so I love that I, I love that in a book when an author can make me feel emotionally invested in a character and then not just there you know because uh, I don't like reading books like that where I don't feel an emotional connection with any of the characters I like to feel emotional emotionally connected with the character so it, it makes me feel what they're feeling it makes me understand more what they might be going through and that guys i felt so bad for her okay i was embarrassed for her i almost wanted to give her a hug and be like it's okay boo boo it's all right and the one thing that i did not like about this book and i don't like it in a lot of books and it is the insta love thing and when i tell you guys it was like instant it was instant okay now they were probably in dubai for maybe just three days or four days i think it was three days i think it was three days they were only in dubai for three days you guys and her and Elle is just like confessing their love for each other and it's just y'all just met you know like I don't that's the I didn't like that 
said like y'all just met y'all have only been in dubai for three days so you've known this man for all the three days and he's known this woman for all the three days and all of a sudden y'all in love with each other like that doesn't sound right <laughs> y'all just met each other y'all don't know literally they know nothing about each other y'all had sex maybe what once and now y'all in love you're not in love you're in lust that's the one thing i didn't like and i don't like that in a lot of books when characters are instantly in love with each other you know i don't i don't like it you know i, I don't know what to say like that i don't like that and i know a lot of people don't like that. that's the only thing that i didn't like but everything else i loved about this book like i loved all the action that was going through the book and like the action was just like on point you know i love the action and the drama in here oh my god you know i live for drama in a book and i loved all the drama that was going on in this book i truly truly did so i cannot wait to read more from her i love this this novella i really did i can't wait to read the first book in the series because the first three chapters of that first book guys i just cannot wait to start reading more i really can't it was really good it was that good so you guys that all i have for you today for this video for my review video and i get the more information you know with release dates and stuff i would definitely put them in the description box and i, I probably would make a video too letting you guys know um, when you guys can expect you know what book to come out so you guys can definitely get it and read it because this was really good and yes there is sex in here there is like there is sex in this book it's not anything that's like you know over the top you know like it's not like you're reading a porno but you know there is sex in here so I wouldn't recommend it to anyone you know that's not on a maturity level to deal with reading a sex scene but definitely, I recommend this book to everyone else because this book was really, really good. I think you guys should definitely go and try it out and give Natalia some support because, you guys, this book was, it was good. This novella, and it was just a novella, it was good. And I read the first three chapters of the first book, like I said before many times, it was really good. She is a good author, and she is just starting. She's a new author. Guys, this is really good. Thank you guys for checking out my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.